Hello and welcome to the microcomputer application series. Uh, today we're going to talk about PowerPoint. So uh, please go ahead and smash that like button. And if you uh, find this video useful, go ahead and leave a comment. And also subscribe to the channel so you can see when we post new material. All right. So Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, just like all the other Microsoft uh, applications, make sure your spelling is correct and you're on the correct slide when you make changes. So let's go into our simulation for Microsoft Simulation 2A Training. All right, so let's get this position see everything all right so the first task is selecting placeholder text so on slide two select slide two of course and select the placeholder text that contains the bullet point here's the bullet point so you just click anywhere in there and the whole thing is selected you don't have to highlight it for this particular uh, task so set the font size on the placeholder text to 24 so everything is selected you'll know because of these bubbles here let's go to our font size and we're looking for 24 and there's 24 and task 1 is complete all right so task 2 deals with changing a bullet list to a numbered list so let's do that so on the slide convert the bullet to numbered items use the default numbering option so here we go we click this Oh, slide three, there we go. So you gotta pay attention, slide three. So we're gonna select all of these for this. And this is the default numbering. If you don't click the arrow, just click this one. This is the default that's showing. Click that, and task two is complete. Moving on to task number three, changing the shape and color of a bulleted list. On slide four, Let's go to slide four. We've got it selected. It's the one that says summer season. Select the three second level bullets, attracting in, attraction entrances, visitor center, and rest area. So here they are. Let's just select all three of those. You'll tell they're selected because it'll be highlighted. All right. So change the bullet style of star bullets. Let's go to that first. So the bullet style, I'm gonna go here. It says bullets, they click the down arrow. So we're going to find star bullets, which is here. Just select that. And change it to star bullets. Let's go back inside there. Let's go to bullets and numbering. And select this down here. All right, so it brings that up. So now it says 85%. You can type it in or you can scroll down one at a time to get to 85. And then the color under themes, colors. Let's click this one, color. Under theme colors, so let's go over to eight column, eight column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last select the color and select that. And then once you've got that selected, got that on 85, you got the eighth column, last color selected, click the OK button, and you finish task number three. On the task number four, which is removing a bullet symbol from a bullet point on slide two so let's go to slide two I like to get in the habit of when they, as soon as they say go to a slide go ahead and go to the slide so you won't do what I did the first time and end up on the wrong slide all right so click in the paragraph and remove the bullet symbol so all you're gonna do is here so click that go up to this click this arrow now where it says none you just click none and that'll remove it all right, so select the placeholder holder containing the paragraph. So the placeholder, let's just click anywhere inside that till you get your bubbles on the outside. So that it displays in a solid line, which it does. And then apply bold italics. So you go bold and italics. And then on the slide two, which we're still on slide two, change the line spacing of the paragraph to 2.0. So we go to the paragraph group and we go to line spacing here and click on the arrow and select 2.0 and I'll space it out. Center the context in the content placeholder. Now you can either press the control E or you can use the centering 
right there. And there it is, it's center and task four is complete. On to task number five, inserting pictures in a content placeholder. On slide five, so let's go to slide five. And we're on five, you should say, prevent heat stroke during the hot summer se season. So no, you're on slide five. And in the content placeholder on the right, here, search for an online picture using the search term water. So let's go over here is the online picture. Let's click this one. And in a search, you type water and enter. And it says, insert the second image from the results into the content placeholder. And here's the second one. Let's click that. And let's click insert. And your picture is inserted. Task five is complete. Task six is inserting pictures in any location on a slide. So on slide one, let's go on up to slide number one. In the images group, let's go to our images group, which is here. Click pictures. Click this device. Here's this device. Once again, let's show it again, just in case you missed it. I'm going to insert tab still. Here's the images group. And here's pictures. Let's click that. And here's this device. Let's click that. All right, so now I'll click this device in the insert picture dialog box in the documents folder click the 2a so of course you're going to click this picture and then click insert and your picture is inserted task 6 is complete on a task 7 which is sizing a picture change the height of the red light picture to 7 if it's not already highlighted then highlight it and then just go up here to the top right click there and type in 3.5 task 7 is complete on the task 8 which is using smart guides and the ruler to position a picture so on slide 1 and we're on slide 1 already point to the picture and then drag up so that the top edge of the picture aligns with the top edge of the slide so just drag it on up here this is at the left all right and on slide one, move the image so that the right edge is aligned with the red dash smart guides that displays on the right half of the horizontal ruler at six inches. So here's six inches. I'm going to drag it to here. Or am I seeing that right? Okay, so let's go here. Get that at six. As close it'll take it. If not, there you go. See, so it's dragging on over to that six. I just pressed on it with the left mouse button and dragged it over. If you didn't get that part. So let's go on slide, or uh, that's it for number eight. Number nine is cropping a picture. So let's go to slide number six. And slide six is gonna say at Big Valley Ranch, so you know you're on the right one. So crop the picture so that it's left edge aligns to one inch to the right of zero on the horizontal ruler. So let's click on highlight the picture. Let's go to the picture format. Let's see, I don't think it will show up. Picture format doesn't show up unless the picture is selected. So make sure you select it. And then you got picture format. Let's click that. And now let's click this crop button up top here, this, this emblem. Select that. And then you'll get these lines here around the picture, those shapes. Let's go to the middle one here. And when you get when your arrow is like mine, it's white and it has two points on either or point on either side. You want to drag it past this right one inch line. Alright, so let's go back to that arrow. It like that okay and then press the left mouse button now and drag it you see the little red cursor up there or the little red line put that on one and then release all right let's do it again it's got to be more precise so we're dragging it hold on let's see what i got i got to gave you the wrong emblem so you want to cross the x this right here with the four arrows not the line so you want that so let's get back that and hold it down. Nope, we gotta get it right here. You're not gonna be able to see it over that dark line, but let's try the left mouse button. You'll know you got it because you're moving it slow and you see the light part is increasing or decreasing while the dark part is increasing. But look at top of that, that uh, ruler bar at number one where the red line is and then release the left mouse button. And then that should crop it for you. 
and on slide six, crop the picture so that the left edge aligns to one inch to the right of zero on the horizontal ruler, and that's what we got. All right. So then, once we got it there, let's go up here and hit this crop button again, and it should take it. And there we go. That's it for number nine. Number 10 deals with using the crop to shape command to change the shape of a picture. On slide one, let's scroll on up. Select the image. So there we go, there's our image selected. On the picture format tab. So here's the picture format tab. Remember, it won't come up unless you select the image. So if you don't see it, go back and make sure you've got these bubbles around the image. Uh, so in the size group, Here's the size group here. Click the lower portion of the, of the crop button, the crop arrow, and then crop the image to an oval shape. So let's go to here to crop arrow this time down here. Let's click, click that. And then crop to shape. Let's select over here, basic shapes. This is your oval. All right, let's do that again. So we're going to go just close that. the size group, crop arrow crop shape and the oval. Click that and your picture changes to oval. All right, that's it for task number 10. On to task 11, inserting a text box. On slide three, let's go to slide three. Slide three is injury prevention protection, protect guests. All right, on the insert tab in the text group, let's go to the insert tab, which is here, and let's click that. Let's go to our text group, which is here. Click text box. Here's text box. Let's click it. And position the pointer so that the ruler guide are positioned on the left half of the horizontal ruler at 4.5 uh, inches and the lower half at 2 inches. So up here, 4.5 inches. And then here is 2 inches. So what you want to do is check the red, check, check the lines, which you get inside a document or inside that slide. You'll see I'm on 4.5 and I'm on 2. Once you're on your spot, just left click. And you insert the text box. You don't have to be perfectly on it, uh, but if you're too far off, you, it'll let you know you'll get an attempt uh, taken away. <clears throat> but just make sure that you're close to it, both sides. Like you see now, the red lines here on, on are moving when I move. Red line up there, and the red line here on two when I'm on the document. But it's already placed. So now that I've got that, type in. If you didn't select anything, you don't press the button after you put it there you can just start typing in there the cursor will automatically go to the box if it goes away for whatever reason just click inside the box till you see the cursor then you can start typing so we type uh, if safety is questionable safely so you see what I if you don't do it right it won't take it but now it did. I'm still checked inside the box, so if safety is questionable, now it says change the font size to 24. Let's go here to our font size, and left click, scroll down to 424, and select it. And you see our font size made 24. All right, so for number 11, number 12 deals with inserting a sizing, or inserting and sizing a shape. So let's go to slide three. We're already there. It says injury protection, protect guests. So from the shapes gallery, so let's go to our shapes gallery. Here's the shapes. Select that. Under block arrow, insert the first shape. Here's the block arrows here. Here's the first shape. So let's click that. So first shape arrow right. So at zero on the horizontal ruler and on the lower half of the vertical ruler at two. So here's zero and going down to two. Should be almost even with this one higher so zero two and let's left click yep did it for me and we have our arrow so now it is selected because it has the bubbles around it so set the height to, to 0.5 inches so let's go here if you can think you can scroll down yeah you can scroll down or you can type it in so I put 0.5 and then here let's go to 0.2 I'm just scroll up see how fast I can get it Give me a tip, so let's go two. Just type it in and press the enter button. All right, so that part is complete. Still on slide three on the shape format tab. 
and we're there already on the shape format tab uh, in the insert shapes group let's go to insert shapes here it is click more there's a more button in the gallery under basic shapes here's basic shapes here in the first row click the second to the last shape octagon oh, first row second last shape this one octagon and by clicking one time at the right half of the horizontal ruler let's, let's add it first now by clicking one time at the right half of the horizontal ruler at 3.5 inches and the lower half of the ruler at 1 inch, 3.5 and 1 inch, we appear. Alright, looks like that's there. Let's click it. And there you have it. The Octagon has been installed. Now on slide 3, which is where we are, set the height of the shape to 2 inches and the width to 2 inches. So here, let's go ahead and type it in the box. Highlight that too. Highlight that too. And grab it to me. Oh, I didn't highlight it, I guess. Let's highlight it. 2. There we go. And then press Enter. All right. That's it for number 12. On to number 13. Adding text to shapes on slide 3. Type stop. In the octagon shape. So it's already highlighted. Should be able to. Just all capitals. So change the font size to 32. Let's go up here. And there's 32. Right, that's it for thir uh, number 13. Number 14 is applying shapes, fills, and outlines on slide 2. Let's go to slide 2. Set the fill color of the content placeholder 2 under theme colors. In the 8th column, click the third color. So we got theme. So let's go to All right, let's first select our text area. So now we got it, we got our shape format uh, tab displayed because it's highlighted or it's selected. So let's click on the shape format and let's go to shape fill. Use our down arrow. Now under theme colors, I'm going to go to the eighth column. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last color, or the third color, sorry about that, one, two, three, and select the third color, All right, let's see what we got here, oh, okay, it's text fill, let's try a text fill, that might be, yeah, let's try this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the third color, nope, let me check and see what we're doing wrong here. All right, so we hit the wrong color in the text fill. So let's try this again. So the text fill, select, go down to the eighth column, one, two, one, two, three. Now this is the third color. One above it. Nope. Still didn't get it. All right, we're back in action here. Let's go to slide two on slide two. Set the fill color. So we have to go to select that on the content placeholder two under themes color in eighth column. Still the same. So let's click the shape format. Once we got it selected, let's click the shape format. Let's go to the shape fill. All right, and now the eighth one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The third, one, two, three. So this is the correct one. And that's going to fill it up this time. All right. So change the outline weight of the content placeholder to three point. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and 
shape outline and click the arrow and then just go down to weight and outline weight go over and let's go down to three point all right select that and that gives us our outline all right task 14 is complete on to task number 15 which is using the eyedropper to change color. So on slide six, let's go to slide six. So the first thing we're gonna do to use the eyedropper to change the font color on the text title uh, at Big Valley Ranch, let's highlight Big Valley Ranch. Let's go to the font color arrow, go down, and there's your eyedropper, let's click that. So now we're going to do the light blue in the upper right corner of the picture. So up here, select that, left click. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? <laughs> so I need to do the eyedropper itself. There we go. So don't use the box, use the eyedropper itself. Uh, on slide five, let's do that again for slide five. We're going to highlight prevent heat stroke during the hot summer season. And this time we're going to actually use uh, the same recent color. So it should come up. And here is, let's go to right here, recent color. Click inside that box, save that color for us, and just click it. What we do? Oh, I left off the P. All right, let's make sure we got everything highlighted. Let's do it again. Everything is highlighted color and there we go right so now we got 15 completed on to task number 16 applying shape styles on slide 3 we're already on slide 3 select the arrow shape so we selected the arrow shape on the shape format tab so shape format is up here let's click that in the shape style group styles group which is here Click more, here's our more. And under theme styles, which is theme styles is here, in the second column, click the third style. Second one, the third style is here. And it's light one, outline, colored fill, blue accent one. Let's click that, and there we have it. On slide three, which we are still on, select the text box. And then under theme styles, let's select the text box. Under theme styles, find our theme styles again click the fifth column fourth style one two three four five one two three four and it looks like it should be subtle effect gold accent four and there we have it all right on slide three select octagon of course on the shape format tab which we're on in the shape style group here we go, uh, and then click the first standard color. Doesn't say more, so it looks like it's this one. Doesn't make too much sense. Click the first, oh, click shape fill. There we go, shape fill. And then standard colors, click the first standard color, dark red, here. Alright, so there we have our stop sign, our good old red stop sign. That's all for task number 16. Task 17, applying shape and picture effects. So on slide 1, and it took us straight to slide 1, select the picture. Picture is selected. On the picture format tab, let's click that. In the picture styles group, here's the picture styles group. Click picture effects. Here's picture effects. And apply the preset soft edges 50% effect picture so preset here it is let's go down let's try to find it presets looking for 50% percent set a number click picture effects and apply the preset soft edges 50 point picture effect to the picture just got preset number so let's try this again let's go to picture effects 
here. Enter format tab and switch to the picture effects and apply the preset soft edges. Is that the first one? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you click preset and then soft edges. Let's try soft edges. Picture effects, soft edges. 50 points. On slide two, select the content placeholder and then apply the re preset around it convex bevel. So it's the placeholder. Let's go to shape format again and say apply the preset. So go to All right, let's go to our shape effects. And we're looking for bevel. And let's get the rounded convex bevel shape. This is it here. There it is. That's like that. And on slide five, let's go to slide five. Should be the one that says we rent hit stroke during the hot summer season. And let us select the picture. And again, let's go to picture format. Picture effects and what it wants glow. The third column, third row. One, right, close. one two, three, one, two, three. And there we have it. All right, task 17 is complete. On to task number 18, which is duplicating objects. On slide six, create a duplicate picture of the picture. So, first, let's highlight the picture. So once you have the picture selected, uh, you can use the keyboard uh, shortcut, which is Control D, to duplicate the picture. So just make sure your bubbles are around it and the picture is selected, and then hold down the Control key and press D. Let's try that again. Control D. There we go. So make sure you click on the active picture. All right, and that's it for task number 18. On to task 19, which is aligning and distributing objects relative to the slide. So select the two images on the picture tab format. So once you select both of them. So hold the control key down with one of them already selected and click on the other and you should have bubbles around both pictures. All right. Once you've done that, on the picture format tab, let's click that picture format tab in the arrange group. Here's the arrange group. Click align. So your line is not worded, so it's going to be, I believe this is it, objects, align objects, the top one. So click align at the bottom, at the bottom of the menu, click align to the side. So align and align to, to slide. Yeah, align to slide here. Click align again and align right. So align to slide. And I click align again. Align to slide, oh, align right. There you go. All right, with the two images selected, distribute the objects vertically. So we're both still selected. Let's go to align again. And we're going to distribute the objects vertically so distribute vertically Let's click on that and they're both aligned on that side apply the 50 point edges effect to the selected images they're both selected let's go to picture effects so it says soft edges 50 point soft edges. Oh, wait a minute, it's soft. Is this one is it? 50 point. Let's do that. And you have them soft. All right, so task number 19 is complete. On to task 20, which is aligning and distributing objects relative to each other. 
So on slide three, we're selected. It should say injury protection, protect guest. Should already tick you there. If not, that's the correct slide. Select the text box. Hold down the control key, select the arrow, and then the stop sign. So the, all three are selected on the shape format tab. Let's click that up here. On the shape format tab in the arrange group, here's our arrange group. Click align, click align selected objects. Align, align selected objects is here, the last option. Let's click that. On the shape format tab, We're already here on the shape format tab. In the arrange group again, click align and then click align middle. So let's align it and look for align middle. And there we are. So distribute the three images horizontally. Let's go align, distribute horizontally. Select that. And then they're spaced equally apart. So that's it for our task number 20. Task number 21 deals with grouping objects. On slide three, group the text box arrow and the, and the octagon. So they're all selected. Let's group. Select group. All right, now they're grouped. Align the group objects in the center of the slide. So let's align. Align center. And then that's it for task number 21. Whoa, that was pretty quick uh, for that task. So, all right. Well, thanks again for joining us on this series. Uh, please, if you haven't done so, smash the like button, leave us a comment, and join, please subscribe to the channel. And once again, if you're unable to do any of those, please uh, go ahead and take about less than a minute to create yourself a free YouTube account so that you can navigate easily by subscribing to channels that are useful to you and that you will frequently visit. All right, so when you're subscribed, you can also see when we post new material. So thanks again for joining us. Uh, take care and have a wonderful day.